Hello Scorpio and welcome to August 18th full moon reading for your sign. I will be using the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg deck. My name is Dadamkar Finley and you can write me at dadamkar23 at gmail.com anytime for a personal reading. I accept PayPal. You can also give me a donation through Patreon if you like these videos and would like to see more of them. So, I plan to cover a lot of metaphysical subjects, which I think Scorpios would be particularly interested in. Um, so, Scorpio is a very interesting sign to me. It's very emotional, um, very watery. Its current Pl ruler is Pluto. Um, however, traditionally, it also shared a ruler with Aries, which is Mars. Now. Scorpio is all about transformation. So, I think that a good archetype for Scorpio is actually the man scorpion of Mesopotamia, uh, which can be found in the epic saga of Gilgamesh in 2000 uh, BC. Although we don't have too many details about the Scorpion Man, other than that he was a deity for the uh, people of Mesopotamia, of most likely Babylonia, or Sumeria. We can think of the associations of Scorpio and call upon the Scorpion Man, all deities associated with Pluto and the god of the underworld. Um, come to us now, send your spiritual envoys, your spiritual messages to your kindred Scorpios. Scorpio rules the strong foodstuffs like garlic and onions. It also rules catnips. Any type of curries, I would say. Beetles. And any flowers that have long stamens, such as honeysuckle, or the very, very unusual, wonderful passion flowers. They look like UFOs. Those are some of my favorites. Clematis. Pluto rules beetles. Anything in dark places, underground, hidden. Oil, natural gas reserves, artifacts, fossils. Hidden inheritances. Oops, almost got away from me there. I think we're ready. Okay. That's you. And this is the situation that crosses you. This is what's on your mind. This is what has laid in your recent past. This is what's in your distant past. This is your hopes, ambitions, dreams for the future, goals. Your influence on others, their influence on you. your environmental factors, your feelings at the present moment, and the grand conclusion. Okay, final result. Now, the hidden meaning behind this reading is a page of clubs. 
They just always represent young people to me, particularly teenagers. Um, but they are messengers, fleet footed messengers. And with this page, we have a faithful and loyal person, an envoy, emissary, trusted friend a stranger with good intentions, a consistent person, a bearer of important news. So I think that you will find this reading useful, even if I am a stranger, but uh, a stranger in your life will bring you uh, good news or a new idea or be a successful helper uh, to you in some regard. So where are you personally? Right now, you are in a time of utmost transformation, death, change. You are completely, although it is not physical death, it is um, a total reorganization of self. A huge rotting skull on the battlefield re resembles the head in Pushkin's story, Russian and Ludmilla. It looks left toward the past. Other symbols of death, skull, sword, fallen warrior, scythe, are scattered about. The raven will feast on the remains. This means transformation, a clearing away of the old to make way for the new, unexpected change, loss, alteration, abrupt change of the old self, though not necessarily a physical death, the end of a familiar situation or friendship, financial loss, a new era, illness, possibly death. So we are all ascending at a time of ascension and transformation, and that's where you find yourself, Scorpios. What crosses you? The Two of Cups, upright. So right now you are in a time of coupling. That is your immediate influence. Possibly someone will come in to your life. The Two of Cups represents love, friendship, beginning or renewed, passion, union, engagement, understanding, cooperation, partnership, and marriage. This is a huge change for you, Scorpios. You perhaps were certain you never wanted to commit to anyone, um, or you were happy in your, your ways, you were set in your ways, you, you saw no uh, potential necessarily until you started looking around a little deeper and you found this union um, and you're feeling good in that now. So what is on your mind? The Three of Cups, three ladies of pleasure with wreaths and cups to offer of emotional abundance and nurturing. It means the resolution of a problem, the conclusion, the solace, the healing, the satisfactory result, a fulfillment or a compromise. Um, you have, uh, even though you may have felt that there was no one for you, you have found someone. Even though you felt that there was no one to partner with in business, you found someone, uh, perhaps. Um, even if you felt there was no lady who took your interest or man who had your interest, now all of a sudden one has turned up for you. Uh, and this has led to a major transformation throughout your life. Um, in the short term past, you've had the four of clubs. You've been getting to know someone and getting close to them. You've been setting down roots and a home. Um, in this, you uh, have romance, society, harmony, newly acquired prosperity, tranquility, the fruits of your labor and rest after strife. So not only is this new partnership coming about and your head is content, but on top of it in the recent past, this has been spurred on by um, a union, by a beautiful um, community uh, interaction. You felt the, the warmth and acceptance of the community for the relationship, or you will um, in your near future. 
So what is your past? The King of Clubs. Reversed. So what's the deal with the King of Clubs here? He looks like a very staid fellow. Well, he is an honest and conscientious person, usually, but his reverse meaning is so severity, austerity, excessive and exaggerated ideas, dogmatic and deliberate. That was in the past. You perhaps ran aground with a lot of authority figures in your past. You had a lot of trouble. You were denied what was rightfully yours. Uh, you had problems with addictions. You had problems with your reputation, but that is all in the past. In the recent past, you've cleared all doubts. You have settled with your home, with your community, with your friends, with your social network. You feel stronger than ever. Emotionally, you feel nurtured and content with the people around you. However, now uh, through this transformation process, and I see this as a, a bigger thing, not just you transformed, but an organization you were a part of transformed from being dogmatic and authoritarian into a more emotionally receptive, sweet, loving type of frame of mind. This brought, through your giving, through your dedication, this person who wants to union with you who wants to perform a divine yoga to heal the planet, to uh, be protected divinely uh, together. Uh, you are stronger together than apart. Now, in your future hopes, wishes, and dreams, you have justice reversed, which is a very strange place for justice to be. However, it is your recent past events, your future influence, um, the influence which is coming into being in the near future, not necessarily your hopes and dreams, but what is coming up, justice. Justice holds scales and the sword of retribution. The arch symbolizes the celestial sphere, and its reverse meanings is bias, false accusations, bigotry, severity in judgment, intolerance, unfairness, and abuse. So you may be facing some amount of condemnation for your relationship here. Uh, for your transformation, people will be saying, well, I don't know who you are anymore, or things like that. But this is a temporary state of affairs. Don't listen to a bunch of haters at this time. Uh, these, this arbitrary uh, ridicule or criticism will take care of itself through karma. And get a cool breeze with that. So the present position you find yourself in is the world reversed. So while you may be somebody who has traveled a great deal in your past, this speaks of uh, having to um, stay at home at the moment. A crowned woman dances in space. Behind her is the earth. Um, now, she is surrounded by the four mascots of the Gospels, and she has um, a, a scroll in either hand. She um, has a crown, so she is a supreme goddess. And in the reversed, she means imperfection, a failure to complete a task. One starts, lack of vision, and disappointment. This may be what you're suffering currently. Um, you're having a hard time with, with someone who's telling you to abandon a task that you've set your mind to, or you've become frustrated when solving a problem. Now, in your environmental factors, 
I can see why that would be the case. Uh, six, the lovers. You, you are in a place of um, bliss. You are in a place where this is your influence on others and their influence on you. Tendencies and uh, factors that exist with regard to other people. So when you're in love, you have a short attention span. You have ADHD. You're about to meet somebody, if you haven't met them already, who is life-changing. In this, a couple is dressed in traditional peasant clothes. The white kid and lamb symbolize innocence and purity of feeling. Mountains and tree intertwined in a, with a serpent signify possible difficulties. Above is a six-winged cherub. Now I think of six-winged cherubs as being archangels, uh, particularly seraphim with flaming swords. And seraphim, they are about um, enacting for the Akashic Records, enacting for fate, enacting for divine intervention. The snake I do not read as negative. I read it as a transformation that both of them are going to go through through their uh, love and knowing one another. Uh, the, the kundalini manifesting up the spine through the chakras. The lovers um, upright is a meaningful affair. Love, beauty, perfection, harmony, trust, beginning of a romance, deep feeling, optimism, freedom of emotion, the necessity of testing or of subjecting to trial, struggle between sacred and profane love, a meaningful affair. I would say find someone who, <laughs> who you enjoy worshiping with. Uh, you may want to want to check out some some place that you consider sacred, uh, even if that's uh, say a a vegan club um, or a natural history museum or um, some sort of society uh, that deals with something that you consider sacred or spiritual to you, you will find someone to sh who shares your life purpose. Now, in your inner emotions, you have the star reversed here, which is probably why you're watching this video. <laughs> because um, the star is the sign of Aquarius, which is what the full moon is in, but it's reversed here. So in your inner heart, a young woman pours water on the ground and into the sea. Behind her is the Slavic field camp. The largest star is above its Sirius. Very serious. Now, um, reversed, it means unfulfilled hopes, disappointment, pessimism, bad luck, lack of opportunity, stubbornness, bullheadedness, imbalance, conclusion of an unsatisfactory business experience or social friendship. So this suggests that you did find somebody you connected with, or you were really enjoying your job and you had a lot of projects going on, but um, either your love relationship has distracted you from your work uh, in, uh, and you're worried about it, or um, the other way around. Your work is trying to take you away from your home, your love, your family, your pursuit of your truths right now, particularly your coupling with this new person. And um, it's hard to bear emotionally, uh, even though you're in a stable place. Now, the final result is the reverse of judgment. Let's see. In judgment, the Archangel Gabriel blows a golden trumpet while soaring on a cloud that resembles the lower part of an egg. Three people emerge from graves carved with Russian crosses. Eternal life. Now, um, in the reverse, it means delay, disappointment, failure to face facts, indecision, divorce, procrastination, theft, alienation of affections. So, I would recommend do not delay in telling someone how you feel. 
Um, do not procrastinate about letting your love or your d needs or whatever be known because your transformation is your truth. Uh, this shows that the Two of Cups will receive it well, will give love, that your head space is actually a good one in nurturing, that um, you have recently found an amount of contentment you didn't know existed. And the sacrifices that you have to make for that contentment is that you need to come to um, not a decision, but a new way of being, a new dis uh, a new continuum. Um, if you like this person, make the decision you like this person and start being around them. If you need a different job, uh, make the decision to transition towards a new line of work or uh, put some feelers out for a new position. Um, but there is no need to delay uh, because we have the page of clubs. Uh, if we need to give more of a clarification, with this page of clubs, I believe this is a messenger, a young messenger, once again. A faithful and loyal person, an envoy, emissary, trusted friend, a stranger with good intentions, a consistent person, a bearer of important news. So this star feeling is unnecessary. You will receive an answer through a message that you pick up, whether it's video or written or uh, the internet, wherever, you will receive your message. And judgment uh, delayed, which is, you know, uh, this is an amazing mystical connection, deserves to be pursued. It may not be an overnight thing, but it is worth the journey, whether it be a wonderful career or a wonderful person to get to know. So, I wish you well. Namaste. Sadnam, all blessings to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name again is Dadamkar, and my email is dadamkar23 at gmail.com. You can donate through Patreon, or you can book a reading with me uh, through Gmail um, on PayPal. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a good month. Take care. Till next time I see you. Namaste. Sadnam. Goodbye. Blessings. Take care.